Welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor here with you going through the course of uh, for beginners with Bitwig Studio. And let's take a look at the uh, inspector. So as we mentioned before, we can hit the letters M for mixer, the letter D for our um, devices tab. And keeping suit with that, we have the letter I on our keyboard, which will open or close the inspector. And the inspector is this guy along the left hand side here. So a lot of information about any of the tracks we select here, any of the audio information, anything we have selected will be displayed right there in the inspector for our uh, personal likings as far as just looking at basically an overview of the, like a channel strip. So right now I've got audio four. There's nothing here. It's just an empty clip and it's set to auto. So we can rename tracks here. Or if it's set to auto, what will happen is if I drag a device from the device's uh, menu or browser and drop it on here, the track will become the name of that device. So let's see here. Let's try and say like an E snare. why okay so typically maybe hmm. anyhow that's the auto function you can go in here and rename it if you like we um, do just that for us So you can also select the color, which is nice. It'll actually not only make the audio channel that color, but it'll turn the clip the same color. And every change will continue to correspond that way. The only thing it won't do is say if we go ahead and name this, say HHHH, -H -H, it won't, the clip won't update with that information. So they haven't quite got there yet with us, but they are letting us sync the co and coordinate the channel color with the uh, clip color, which is kind of nice. Keeps things pretty organized. But as far as titling this guy, the clip, you're going to have to do that on your own. And what else do we have? We have um, pitch bend. So if you've got your instrument in, you can actually adjust some pitch bend here if you like. You can see your devices rack for that particular channel can also click the add button here with additional flexibility to continue to add devices. You've got your um, send effects, send one, send two, or how many you've got lined up. You've also got the option of pre or post on that. So nice little uh, feature there. And further down, we've got our auto monitor and we've got our final channel adjustment for volume. This is the inspector. I think I've covered it all. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to understand. All right, let's move on to the next video.